Hi everybody. Uh, this video shows how to move, rotate, or scale a fusion model. As you may have noticed, fusion items have their transforms locked down. When I select Moto's Move, Rotate, or Scale tools, you see that their controls are grayed out. And the gear in the status column of the channel tab indicates that the channel is driven by another channel and that's how it's locked down. There are good reasons for this that I won't go into right now, but instead let's focus on uh, the best methods for transforming the fusion model. So here's a fusion model, and please note that the gray cylinder is not part of this fusion model. The location of the fusion model is determined by its source meshes, as seen in wireframe here. I can select all of a model's source meshes with the Select Source Meshes button which is available in either the uh, More Fusion pop-up form or uh, the Fusion Items Properties tab. Transforming the model as a whole is done by transforming those source meshes as a group. The easiest way to do that is by placing the source meshes in a group locator. Just right-click on any of the selected meshes and select Parent to Group Locator. Of course, it's a good idea to name that new group locator which now contains all of the model's source meshes. Now I can use any of the standard transform tools to effectively move, rotate, or scale the fusion model. All item level transforms are fine, including disproportionate scaling. You may have meshes that, while uh, not part of your fusion model, still need to move with it. Uh, any such meshes should be included in the same group locator. Uh, that's the case with the green mesh you see here. Uh, note that it was originally created with Fusion's drag and drop create non-fusion duplicate option. That option automatically made it a child of the Fusion mesh it was copied from. In part that's done to support moving it and the cutter in sync. But it's also handy in setting up the group locator for transform because it gets placed into the group locator when we follow the same steps as before, selecting source meshes and parenting them to a new group locator. Once that's done, everything moves as a unit. And finally, a performance tip. Moving the meshes causes fusion to update, which makes transforming less fluid than it could be. Turning the fusion item off before transforming the group locator allows fast, fluid transforms. Of course, you'll only see the ghosted fusion source meshes while transforming with fusion off. Uh, unless, of course, you have a non-fusion mesh like we see here. And naturally, you'll want to turn the fusion item back on uh, to see if your transforms are where you want them or to make uh, final tweaks. All right, that's about it for this one.